Please welcome Justine Bateman. Fine, how are you? Do you remember when we first met? Wasn't it at a party? It was a post office box. Was it? Do you remember on Ventura Boulevard where you used to get your mail yeah, sent? Yeah, yeah, And I used to get my mail sent there too. And I went in and you were giving cookies that you had baked for Christmas right? to the people who worked in there. Isn't that funny? Because I remember meeting you at a party in New York. Really? But it, so it was twice. But okay. you see, the cookie thing really impressed me. Uh -huh. Because first of all, I thought, well, no, Justine Bateman bakes. You know, that's a good thing, too. Yeah, on some maniacal night, I was probably baking. Yeah, are you a good baker? I don't bake anymore. No? I have to give that up. Yeah. Really? It was yeah. just a fluky bake night that I caught you. Yeah, yeah. I wanted one of those cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was kind of kind of you, you know. How's it going? Great. Yeah, yeah everything's good. Yeah, Show's cool. doing well, men behaving badly. Yeah, it's doing great. With the crazy Rob. <laughs> You enjoy it? You're having yeah. a good time? Did you, have you worked with him? Yes, I have. We did stand up together for many, many years. Yeah, I, I, he makes me laugh so hard. He, he makes is. it really fun. He's a very yeah. funny guy. He does this great thing in his routine about setting the clocks back that his shop teacher calls him and says, Rob, it's Mr. Smith, your shop teacher. Remember to set your clocks back. <laughs> I guess it doesn't make sense out of context, but it was funny when he did it. Um, now, were you eager to get back in a sitcom after so many years on Family Ties? Um, no, I kind of, it just didn't feel, feel right. I mean, I wanted to do other stuff. I did like uh, theater and films and performance art and all that. And, um, and then one day it just felt right, so. You said kinda, yes. Yeah. yeah. How long did it. you do Family Ties? A long time? Seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. It's, People uh, love it. Yeah, yeah. It didn't feel, it, it didn't feel like it at all. It didn't feel like a long time at all, you know? I guess when when thing when something really clicks. Yeah, it goes you quick. Know, sure. Yeah. How old were you when you started? I don't know. Sixteen. You were six. You were just a kid. Yeah. See, we all watched it grow up. Yeah, yeah. From sixteen to uh, like twenty-two. Now, are your parents in showbiz? Because you and your brother both are so successful. Um, Jason is uh, uh, um, doing um, Chicago Sons. Yes, very yeah. funny. He's, he's a cutie patootie. Your brother. Yeah. Yeah. But did your parents, like, encourage you guys um, to go into... My, it was really my brother who, you know, just decided he was going to be an actor when he was, like, uh, 11 or something. On and his then, own volition? Yeah, he just said, I want to be an actor. And he went to an audition with a, uh, an adult that, uh, you know, lived up the street, so another actor, and he got the part of the little boy, and the guy was going to auditioning for the father, but he didn't get that. He didn't get it? He didn't get it. Jason got it. And then he was on Little House on the Prairie, like, just moments after that. Yeah, how and long was he, he on that? The last year, he was... Uh, him and uh, he and this little girl, she had really long hair, I can't remember her name. Um, they were the kids whose parents were killed in the big wagon accident. Oh, yes. And then, and then the Ingalls adopted them. Right. That, well, that Jason was Jenny Wilder. That, you know who that was? Wasn't was that it, Shannon was Doherty? It, wasn't it Missy something? Was it Missy? Because I know Shannon's parents got killed and Melissa <laughs> adopted her, her too. But it could have just been another family. There was a lot of tragedy on that it show. Was, <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Jason was the one with the with the cereal bowl haircut. Right. You know? Yeah. He's been working ever since. Yeah, he has. He's great on that. He's directing now, too. Is he really? Yeah. Well, that's... Do you have any aspirations to direct? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to. Would you? It's a lot of work. I'm sure. But it I'm seems... sure it's consuming. Yeah, but it seems like the most creative part, you know, to yeah. me, at least. You get to yeah, put, put it all together. Yeah, put your whole flavor on it. Yeah. You watch a lot of TV? Um... You know, there are times when I do. Like when, when I, you know, decided I was going to get back into, into sitcoms, definitely got into it. And um, I'm hearing some noise back there. <laughs> well, you see, I read <laughs> Yeah, somewhere. yeah, okay. So what, my favorite show when I was growing up? No, I read somewhere, and I don't know if it was true, that you loved Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you're fanatical about the show. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like watching that. <laughs> you like Jim Fowler? Sure. I mean, wait, was I wrong in my research? No, no, you're, you're on, you're on. Are you scared? You don't know who it is? <laughs> you're afraid it's gonna be like the entire cast of Family Ties and I'm gonna make you reenact a scene or something? No, I just hear something thrashing about back there. I just wonder what it is. All right, What well, kind of animal it is, not, not uh, other actors, they don't... They don't scare you. I don't know how scared... You know, I can sure, I'm sure I can be scared by an actor, but... Christopher Walken, for one. <laughs> No, Rob Schneider does a mean Christopher Walken. He does do yeah. a good one. He does that sha, sha, I love you, sha. <laughs> yeah, I don't do a good Christopher Walken. I don't like to think of him too much, although I'm sure he's a nice person. <laughs> Terrifies me on a lot of levels. Um, but you, would you like to meet Jim? 
because he's sure. here from Mutual of Omaha because sure. he heard you enjoyed the show. Please welcome Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom people. <laughs> Swamp with alligators on the boat getting you, you know. I see you've watched our show. I've watched it a couple times. Yeah, well, how do you like these, huh? They well, are so they're cool. cute. Will they bite? Maybe. No, 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 no. We don't we don't want to react just out of fear. These are what we call huggables. Yeah. Right, wouldn't you say? I definitely oh, think they're huggables. And this is a little Siberian tiger, but I want to show you the reaction. This this guy is very playful, as most cats are. Uh oh, Peter, um, <laughs> Peter Gross and I, of course, have worked with these lobsters. This is this is a natural reaction to, yeah. as a play. They're just playing. And uh, but I think we better give them something. It's Would gentle Ben and Simba. Would you help me here? Yeah, Rosie? sure. What Here's do you need? That. Here, just pour a little milk in a little there. Milk in there? Okay. A little milk in there. Wow. Please don't bite the host puppies. Oh, right. Please don't bite. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. There you go. We don't want to have them. <laughs> Please don't bite the actresses. Okay. <laughs> yes, she. There you go. He likes your fingers and not the marshmallow. He doesn't want the marshmallow. That's because we, we've got to say because you know there is some concern about this. There are only about 300. This is a Siberian tiger cub, really? three months old. May only be 300 of these left in the wild. Really? And the question, I think those are gonna survive pretty well. Yeah, they're the cutie. The question is, do we really care if this disappears from the face of the earth? Yeah, we care. We gotta do something about it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Right. And, and you know, the good news is, is that the black bears here in New York are actually making a comeback. Uh -huh. This is a 14-week-old black bear that would have just come out of its den, having penned up with its mother, and now it's going to be weaned, and it's just starting to eat salt. Would you like a grape hold little your, pookie? Hold your hand nice and flat. Yeah, it's on a special uh, diet, and we don't want to mix like it up with Would you like a grape little fingers. pookie? There we go. Okay, pookie. Don't bite the horse. Pookie, <laughs> pookie. Right up to the nose. Come here, right pookie, there. pookie. Oh, okay. There you go. There right. you go. Thank Good you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye -bye. All right. Bye -bye. <laughs> Tigers don't eat grapes, they just eat hands. They just no, eat okay. hands. Well, we'll leave him there then. No, well, I, I want to thank you for coming. Well, listen, I got to a surprise special. Justine, who that wasn't surprised because no, she heard this. No, this is so, I went to Tippy we, Hendren's ranch once. Did you She's really? got all those animals. Sure, yeah. yeah. We have yeah, a bigger surprise for you, though. What do you got? A little something well, We hear me. that people. Don't tell me a snake, because I don't like snakes. No, but we hear that people love kissing you. That's true. And that you're raising money for your For All, for all Children yes, Foundation. Yes, that's right. Well, I want to announce that Mutual of Omaha is donating $10,000 to your foundation. Yeah! 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 That is so That's nothing. Thing. That's nothing, folks. Wait a minute. Look at this. So that's nothing, folks. Because this, we're also providing you through Mutual of Omaha lip insurance in case anything ever happens to your lips. <laughs> So that you can't, so that you can't Even kiss somebody, heart. you get ten thousand dollars every time you can't kiss somebody. How do you like that? Wait a minute. <laughs> so if I happen to get a big hairy coleslaw, you you'll give it. me ten more you thousand. Got it. I'm you gonna be it. kissing people with coleslaws all week, <laughs> and I'm gonna be hoping to get one. Well, thank you so much. And if you kiss the tiger, you get more than that. No. If I kiss the tiger, what get, he might bite me. Now, we also have for you from Willis and Geiger. Oh, yeah. wow. My good friend, Bert Avedon, we've got some Wild Kingdom right Mutual on. Omaha bush jackets. How do you like that? All right. You never know when we Look might need that. to be in the bush. There. That's All great. Right. I love Pookie Pookie. Oh, Justine, be careful. Okay. Be careful there. That's a finger. Justine Bateman has done men behaving badly. You should watch her and look for Mutual oh, Omaha's so Wild Kingdom show wow. on TV somewhere. <laughs> Animal Planet. Animal Planet, that's right. We'll be right back after.